That's my phone. Hello, world. I think I'm live. Let me just check all the settings. Mic's on. You can't hear my music. You can see my animation. We'll press play. So, I, step one is waiting for YouTube to recognize I'm actually live. That, that's the goal. Step two is the mic test as usual. Okay, my test is all good. Step three. Oh, dear brain. Hello. First in chat. First in chat. Regeki. No, no, Regeki. No, Regeki. Astro Blaze. Hello. There's a cat on my keyboard. Please do not press any important keys, Regeki. I can't grab you at the minute. Okay, where are you going? Bro, where are you going? Please. Please. You're very cute, but please. Right, I'm going to scoop you. Please don't attack me. Good boy. Good boy. Hello. <laughs> Sometimes Regeki doesn't like attention. Okay. Welcome, Master Blaze. Welcome, dear Rain. Master Blaze, you missed last time. It's gotten a little bit unhinged, but in the best of ways. I'm still just adjusting and tweaking little things, and I should probably also drop a link in the Discord before I continue. It's good to see you both. Oh, I know why. I've left my stream open. There we go, that's better. I could hear myself talking from the mic test and I'm sat here thinking, why can I hear myself so prominently? It's because it's in my headphones and coming out my mouth. Like, you know when you talk and you can hear your own voice, right? I thought I was doing that for a, for a hot minute. <laughs> Okay, that's a Discord link. But it was a very, very fun session, the last one. It was delightful. I know wish you were there too, Astro Blaze. Unless you were and you were just kind of listening. It wouldn't surprise me if you were just dying in the corner. Have a really close look. If you weren't, just like, have a really close look at the Mikus. Because something isn't quite the same. Uh... What's the live stream thing? There it is. Almost ready. How have you both been? I'm impressed you both got by so quickly. Okay, we've got some links out. Oh, and now I just need to put the chat on my phone. Erin, you have more hats and mucus. Master Blaze, so I see. And Erin, you're doing good. You're doing watercoloring in a new sketchbook. That sounds lovely. I love watercolor. I got some, I got gifted some really fancy watercolors a while ago. 
and then a friend stole them. The end. That's the end of that story. I never got to use them. I'm not friends with that person anymore. <laughs> As for a blaze, I managed to get an early bus home from work, so I was able to get sorted in the evening faster than usual. Well, that's great. Genuinely, I think that sounded a bit sarcastic. I didn't mean for it to. Regeki, now you're on my power cord. I'm going to need it, baby. How will you lay on that? I'm going to need it. Whoop. Got to floss this underneath my cat, please, now. Thank you. I'm on a laptop, Regeki. Like, this ain't a dis desktop. <laughs> Dear rain, sweet. What are you painting? You got the watercolours out. Are you just practising? Are you new to watercolours? Or have you used them before? I know it's a new sketchbook. But Astro Blaze, it's good to hear from you. I feel like it's been a couple of days. We are back on the Miku grind. So, Astro Blaze. We have a list, okay? <laughs> um. So, I think, Astro, you were here for... Uh, selfish princess and you were here for 15th anniversary i think that one is and miku uh, night series miku expo and pokemon uh whilst you were away we got orbit and cyber rock this one was evading us so hard on the internet uh yeah bye bye now nah. <laughs> And then, and then, you know, hey, yeah, and then nothing to see here. And then <laughs> Domino's Pizza and Fall Guys. Look how short. It's the way the feet and legs still kind of like pass. Like she's still in the right pose for the frame. She's just so short. Dear Ray, no, I'm not new. Um, I just draw random things. Then watercolor it. Valid, totally valid. And then we've got, this one's really pretty. She, like, explodes with a rainbow. That's another anniversary one. I think that one's 10th. Marionette. Um, Battle Cats. Black Anonymous. Hello. Welcome back. Honey Bear? Is it Honey Bear? Yeah, Honey Bear. We finished on Honey Bear, and this strain, this 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 frame is for Pusheen. <laughs> Welcome, Crack Anonymous. It's nice to see you again. I hope you managed to fall asleep last time. We're all having a reunion in chat. I was thinking, potential subathon. So, like, if I get a new subscriber whilst I'm live, then I could add more Mikus to the 100 Miku minimum. And then there's more chaos. So it's like, if I get a subscriber, then that's plus two. I was thinking plus five, but then I realised that could get Chaotic really quick, you know? Where's Miku's? Quick Anonymous, I did sleep well. I'm glad to hear it. So next one's pushing. I am I do like this skirt. It's very cute. And Dearain, you mentioned you had some more Miku's for me as well. Master Blaze, I don't know if you've got any more, I can add them to the list. Because we managed to accrue quite a few requests after this. We've got Pusheen, Muse Dash, Haruka, Arifure, Breathe With You, uh, Pio, Pio Kuru, the Papercraft Miku, Tell Your World, Miku Dayo, 2022 Snow Miku, the third season Autumn Miku, Thunderball, and Digimon Agumon Miku. When's the Agumon squeaky clean? Agumon is frame 65. We could skip and do that one if you really want me to. Um, but it is in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's 13 along. Which, we can actually work out what frame that would be. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This one would be the Agumon. 
Mr. Blaze, nice to see others are recommending Miku's. I felt like I was hogging all the suggestions. Dear Rain, there's only 110 Miku designs, though. Really? Was that including all these extras, like, from the games and battle cats? Demons and the Dead Miku. That's when we just start adding in. Oh, I know that one. That's such a good song. I've been playing that so much. I've been trying to get a perfect score on it on the uh, uh, the rhythm game for the Switch. I don't know which one that is. Oh, you found all the Digimon Mikus. Because it's like with the Pokemon Mikus, we can add like multiple Pokemon Mikus in. I'll put Demons and the Dead down on 66. Demons and the Dead got from 66. That's like one six away. <laughs> That's coincidence. Hey, it's fated. Is the 110 Mikus, is that also counting... All the video game variants, and is it also counting the figurines? Because there's a lot of figurines. I feel like there's over 100 Mikus in just figures, you know? And we could potentially also give extra frames to other Mikus, like they could make a double appearance. Make sense? Wait. Where's the Pusheen gone? Honey. Oh. I'm editing the wrong frame. Okay. Wow. No, same Digimon Squeaky Clean, Dear Rain, Little Red Miku. And uh, Squeaky Clean, I feel like there's more than 110 in Project Diva alone. And Dear Rain says it isn't included in the game. So yeah, we could get even more Hatsune Miku modules. Um, Astro Blaze, have you already done Cantarella Miku? I think it may have been in the first part. I know I've got Cantorus, Name of Sin. I'm not sure. If we've actually got the Cantorella one. Uh, she should be frame. Oh, I don't think she got put in. She's not been numbered. Let me see. I can check the first one. They're all loaded. Um, but no, I don't think she's been done, actually. She was on the, she was, she's written down, but she doesn't have a number next to her name. I thought that said Cinderella. I'm pretty sure it's technically does. <laughs> it is, I'm pretty sure, from the Cinderella story. In the song, I mean, but Cinderella Miku herself is also a figure. So no, um, Cantarella hasn't actually been put in. She was noted down, but the way I've got it written down is I've got a bunch of bullet pointed numbers, and next to them is the modules or whatever they are, and. Cantarella is written down on there, but she's not numbered in, which means she's not in the thing. So I've wrote that down. She's now number 67. That means that in two frames, we're at the funny number, guys. Miku 68. And Miku 69. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's get some art on the canvas, shall we? Uh, dear Rain, there are 110 outfits. I thought I said Cinderella. Do you want Cinderella? I can put Cinderella down. Like, Cinderella and Cantarella are two different things as well. So there is a Cinderella figure. So we can do Cantarella and then Cinderella. That'd be cute. But if you did and I missed it, sorry, dear Rain, but she's in there now. For Miku 69, I'm going to start digging. Okay. I'll leave Miku frame 69 blank for now until I 
<laughs> the next frame is 69, though, after that. The white design specifically, I know this a black and white variant. Oh, Romeo, like Romeo and Cinderella. Love that song, that's such a bop. Okay, we're good. Right, so what's holding in the frame? Is she turning her head? Yeah, so she started turning her head and she's picking up a leg, so... A little stomp, so to speak. Oh no, the onion skins picked up the cat. Not bottle cat Miku, go away. <laughs> okay, what are your shoes like? Oh, little slippers. 69 should be the hat. You mean, you mean, you mean, like... The pigtail hat, don't you? You mean this? The fitter hat? What if we make it Shite Yan Shite Yanyo? Where it's got the legs. <laughs> oh, it's saving. Hurry up, I want to draw the face. Let me draw the cursed imagery. Thank you. And it's got the face like this. Leg. And then it has the hair as well. <laughs> Goodbye, Shite Yanyo. Get off my screen. It's a song question. <laughs> yes, um, Romeo and Juliet is a song. I think it is called. Instead of, I think it is literally called like Romeo and Cinderella. I can't remember now. But it mixes up the two. It's not like just straight Romeo and Juliet. Okay, so she has the little slip-on shoes. And... Is this leg coming down? No, this leg's been firm on the floor, but now she's kind of going to her tippy toes. Oh, yeah, and we were talking yesterday about... Um, I was trying to remember a Lucas song that I really like. It was No Logic I was trying to remember. There is other ones too. There's a couple that I can't remember. Okay, I know that looks kind of awkward on the legs posed, but that will change to not look as awkward. It's just like trying to make sure they're in the right place for the, you know, the onion skin. And we will obviously put in a pusheen. Does anyone have a favourite Miku so far? Out of all the Mikus that have gone on, what's everyone's favourites? I was tempted to do like a poll, but then it was a case of what do I include? Which ones? There were so many. Let's see. Little Cat Miku is my favourite Crack Anonymous. Crack Anonymous, you, you're like really enthusiastic about the Battle Cat. It's great. The Battle Cat one is pretty great. I think Yamabina's pretty funny. And the Fall Guys one. Dear in the hat with pigtails. <laughs> the hat with pigtails will be in, don't worry. I'll I'll squeeze it in just for you. It's a gift like Pigtail Hat Miku. Ugh, that was a really ugly line. Oh, that's really ugly too. What am I even doing with that? I'm gonna zoom in. It looks like a like a wonky banana. It was really bad. So this one kind of like has her face really well framed actually.
I mean, the general vibe with these for me has been I need to warm up before I approach the hair. It's just been a pattern, hasn't it? Look at her little eyelashes. That would be tail still, oh no. It's like I, I kind of want to include the automaton. So there are these instruments that literally look like a musical note, and then they've got mouth on them like this. And when you squeeze them, the mouth opens like this. And up here is um like these little keys that you play to make it make different sound notes. It's like a touch screen. And there's kind of like a speaker and like noise comes out. Look anonymous. So it was a powerpuff girls Miku collab. Miku is getting all the sponsorships. What linkage Miku? Tomato Miku for 69. It's a shame I can't put polls in chat, honestly. I'd be like, right, which one? Oh, this one's chin's way too high up. I knew it. Give me the onion skin. So chin uh, needs to be closer to the... Her eyes are in an okay place, which does mean I have to bring her hair down further, though. I'm gonna cheat. Because, like, the top of her head needs to stay in place, but I'm literally just gonna... <laughs> make it longer. There we go. That works. But her head's a bit too bit flat to me. Dear Rain, oh my god, it's true. There is a Powerpuff Girl Miku. Okay. Really? Miku! Astro Blaze, is it possible to do polls in chat? I just don't know. Oh, it is possible, you just don't know how. I can try the... The way I know to do it in Twitch would be slash poll. Enter. Nope. RP then the slash? Poll? Hmm... I have options to send emotes to chats. I don't have any options to create polls. Maybe it's something you unlock. Anyway, I'm going to Google that Powerpuff Girl Miku. Wow. I'm getting fun at that. Oh, wait, no, that looks kind of official. That looks more official. With the Cartoon Network logo and the copyrights. This Luca, Rin, and Len, too? They've dressed Blossom up like Teto. That's cute. Oh my gosh. Powerpuff Miku actually exists. Are we having Powerpuff Girls Miku? Are we going to go for that? I mean, no one's technically requested it. It's just been like a shout out. So. <laughs> Should I leave a space so like, we can find something really good for frame 69? At the moment, Astro Blaze is suggesting uh, we do the automaton for that one. Oh, if I put the microphone in her left hand here, is it just a standard mic? Oh yeah, that's bog standard. <laughs> yes, and obviously. <laughs> Would it just be floating there? Yeah, she's got like a really bog standard microphone. Oh my gosh. It looks like that could be anything. That's so vague. Like it could be a lollipop. It could be a mic. It's got no buttons or anything. It's so simple. Um, poof sleeves though. So she's got like little puff sleeves, they're cute. Do you want me to actually, is, it, is, that, a, is that the consensus for frame 69 we're putting the automaton in? 
floating automaton. I don't know if it even has pigtails or anything, but I know such an obscure collab, honestly. I feel like the more unhinged the collaboration, the more likely Krypton are going to be like, absolutely, absolutely you can make a Miku. <laughs> Go right ahead. Don't come in here with anything normal. Oop. And she also has a big bow. The bow's kind of hidden by her hand in this pose. And big poofy dress as well. The hands really need some work, like she's looking kind of wonky at the minute, and I know the legs posing is kind of off. I'm just trying to get the details down. I've not done any warm-ups warm or anything. I was literally... I walked through the door at half past seven, and half past seven is when I usually start setting everything up for the strip. So it's been like, like no chill. It's just in, set up, go. Bring the dress up. Okay. They're in, yeah, the what? And chopstick Miku. Let me see. So it's Powerpuff Girls an official request too. So we've got an automaton. And Powerpuff. <laughs> Um, chopstick. We'll see if we can find it. What's the... Ooh. Was it the one with, like, her... Her hair kind of looks like ribbons and the outfit's white, red and green? Is that the one you mean? Project Diva? I've got also got art of just Miku eating noodles with chopsticks. <laughs> like, just normal. And a lot of them are noodle toppers. Okie dokie. Noted. You have to be careful here because they have like an ink pen and then the actual stylus pen for the laptop. That could go wrong. That's all I'm saying. And she's got little stripes. She's in like a mid ballerina pose here. I think she's about to jump or kick her leg out. And this arm wants to be a bit less wonky. Wow, I think that really just fixed it. Naveen, hello! Welcome back! Hello, remember me from yesterday? Absolutely! How's Dear Rain? Orange Blossom Miku. Hi, Naveen. Hi, Dear Rain. Click anonymous. List of all the obscure Mikus I have so far. No puff girl. Gotchi! That's the time I got you. I'm on it. I was actually saying yesterday, I was like, oh, I wonder if this is Tamagotchi. I feel like statistically, there would be with all the weird collabs. I like Tamagotchi. Whoa! You're so cute! I'd be kind of disappointed with it as a product, though, because, like, part of the fun of Tamagotchis is the fact that they can, like, hatch into different things. Tamamiku, Tamamiku. During a little cat in a box emo, that's so cute. Also, Quack Anonymous says hello, Naveen, as well. Welcome back to the Mikus. Oh, 
Also, thank you for subscribing, Naveen. I got the um, notification after the live. So it's very appreciated. I was also debating, I was discussing earlier the concept of... So the minimum requirement for this is 100 Mikus, right? Well, the concept of potentially adding more for subscriptions gained whilst live. Okay, where do I start with drawing this pushy? <laughs> it's kind of a dumpling. A little dumpling. Also, I got something while I was out today. Gachapon. Does anyone know what Gachapon is? The machines, and then you get like capsule toys in like a little egg. And then you open the egg. And then you get like a cute toy, a, a race car. We got some cute ones. The little cats dress like sharks. They're imported from Japan. There was a lady at the market just like selling them. So I'm trying to find space on the canvas to start drawing it. I'll just zoom out. There we go. They're so cute. If I had a webcam, I would show. Um, but I was torn between buying the little kitty dressed like a hammerhead shark and the one sat down dressed like a little great white shark. And then Squeaky was like, yeah. we'll take the lot as a treat. <laughs> so that's, the, that's this month's treat for me is a, a bunch of little shark cats. Economist, to be honest, I feel like Shita Yanyo would be a nice choice for frame 69. <laughs> I was saying that. I feel like it is very appropriate. Like, people would be, like, potentially anticipating something sus, and that's what they get for it. And I think that is well earned. So the lines on the pusheen is going to be really wonky because I'm zoomed so far out drawing. And Animate doesn't quite like drawing when I'm zoomed out. Ah, what's that face? Um, that's the most I can zoom in and still see it. Why is Pusheen's face, like, so high up? Gotta love that it's got a little wig, though. Stay winning, Pusheen, with wig. Oh yeah, Naveen, uh, the Luca song I was trying to remember was No Logic. So I was saying I do like a few Luca songs, there's a couple I had in mind, but I could remember the music video, but I couldn't remember the song. There is a few others as well, um, that I still can't remember, but the one that I did remember was No, no Logic. Dear Rain, no, oh, yeah, I do know what... Do that one look like Shita Yanyo. You know the one I drew which had legs for hair and the little, like, face? Crack Anonymous needs to be more round. You're right. We need to feed this little guy. Let's try again. Right. What shape are we going for? So it is... Oh, it is very round, actually. Okay. So we're going for very potato, very bottom heavy, round that boot more. Very rotund butts, and then like extra nubby on the legs. Is Yeah, that's better. That's better. And the tail doesn't have much variation in shape. It's more minimalist pushing. Rounded boot. Oh, um, have you Googled Shita Yanyo? You're in for a treat if you have. It's such a sophisticated and beautiful Miku. Do you really need some food for the cat? Yes. <laughs> I think this leg's just too high up. Oh, this is basically a little curl. 
I mean, oh, I also love that song a lot. Probably one of my favorites is that Luca song. That Luca song. She, Luca does have a very soft melodic voice. She's very underrated, I think. Gosh, we just end up finishing this project and being like, it "Was great." It's time to do another vocaloid. <laughs> More food for the cat. Oh no! Does it need to be wider? Let's just widen the pusheen. There we go. Pusheen of the universe. <laughs> it's looking more like a ditto. Squash it back together. Might need to be wider, actually, still. Let's try it. Oh. Oh. Maybe. And then if we move that, let's try getting the face on it. The face, I feel like, will help us see the proportions better. This mouth's weird. What is that mouth? Machine. Why are you so... Com Sometimes the hardest characters to draw are the simple ones. Because with complicated characters... It's easier to hide mistakes in the costumes and stuff. So, like, in the details, you can hide mistakes. But with simpler costumes, uh, not costumes, designs, it becomes more obvious when you've made a mistake and something's off. Like, Adventure Time's a good example. So, like, how many times have y'all seen a wonky Adventure Time character, for example? And it's because they're so, so simple to draw, um, which then makes them trickier because you can just see every mistake when there are them. Okay, let's try that face. Dear Rain, what the muffin is this? Why, is there a muffin Miku now? I mean, there is a... Um, I know Rin Kagamin had... What's it called? Like, the sweet one. And she's dressed like a cute little chef and there's like gingerbread houses and stuff. Why is it shrinking so wonkily? <laughs> Why did it shrink like that? Okay. Do shrink normally, please. Thank you. Here we go. Scared emoji. Uh, Naveen, did you do the 15th anniversary? Yes, I believe we have. Is that one on the list or one that we did? I think that's one that Astroblaze requested. Let me check. 15th anniversary. Yes, she's in here. She is. This one? This one. Do you mean this one, right? Even though it's very complicated. Yes. The details will be picked up. So if I go over to like this, for example, where they're completed, if you zoom in, you can see that I do change the line art for them and put in all the details that need to be there. So even if they are complicated, they will get their costume done properly and shaded. Um, like here with all the ruffles. So they will, they will be taken care of, she she will get the treatment she deserves. Uh, Naveen, oh my god, it's so cute. And yes, in fact, you can also give me a second opinion. So if I really want to include the prop of the thought, I'm worried that she's too complicated and it might clutter up the design. So we could add the thought. I'm thinking if I finish it first, see how it looks, and then add the fork in if it looks like it'll work in. Jump scares. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was considering adding other battle cats to that one. Okay, the, the pushing's starting to actually look like a pushing. <laughs> um, its microphone is a bit higher. It's so cute. It's like it's the singing together.
and then a little Miku wig. It's a bit poofier than in the reference image, but it looks kind of bald, so. <laughs> We give it a little bit of volume. Little layers peeking out. Ah. Uh. I mean, the air needs to be higher though, doesn't it? Here you go. Dear Rain, sweet Ken Miku. Also, did you do pajama party Miku? No, we haven't got that one. I will go. Oh, Humble got you Miku. Was that an official request, by the way? Um, sweet pumpkin. Oh, she's cute. Oh, it reminds me there's a Halloween one where she's like a pumpkin witch that's so cute. I love that figure. And pajama party. Let's see. Yes, is it the one with the hair loops you mean? So the pajama party module is the one where she's got the white colour theme, white and teal. And she's got her hair in like little braided loops. Quite uh, Naveen. Okay. We'll talk anonymous, dear Rain, they're going on the list. Uh Tamagotchi and Sweet Pumpkin. One and pajama party. All noted. Got him. We got him, guys. Okay, working on the pushy <laughs> still. It's really good. It's fine. Spray hiccuping. Oh. Where are you actually going to be going? We should overlap it here. If I put it like here, it overlaps Miku's hair a bit. It puts them together. It's overlapping her hair, but not the dress. Is the plan, I think. So if I... Clear these parts. But not there. So let's start together. Wonderful. Whiskers. Uh, Naveen, oh, did you do 10th anniversary, Miku? I'll check. We've got a couple of anniversaries, so I just need to check the list. Um, if I've got a 15th and I've got the 10th anniversary, yes, just before Marionette. 10th is, oh, there she is. So glad I made a list, honestly. What's that emo, dear Rain? Oh, they're like many high fives with a little person. Okay. Battle cats. Okay, which one's next? Who's next on the list? Muse Dash. It's a safe Miku. <laughs> I mean, okay. Thank you. I think Len's pajama party module is pretty cute because, like, he's tied up his fringe, like the front of his hair, his bangs. He's tied just those in a bobble at the front, and it looks so lazy but genuine. You know, like lazy not in design, but as in you know when you're tired and you're like, I just want to go to bed, and you might just throw your hair back really quick out your face. It, it's how it looks. Um, grabbing a reference from Muse Dash Miku. Oh, she's stunning. So pretty. Which one do I use though on these reference images? Um, 
How does she look in game? Let's go with that. I'm trying to look for a, a Muse dash, dash reference that's clear because it's very vibrant. There's a lot of colours in the background making it kind of hard to see her. And stuff with like pop ups in the front, like pow. It's like, that's cool and all, but I need to see the girl. <laughs> it is. Uh, is this the best I'm getting? Because it's tiny. It's too small. Oh. Naveen, there's one Miku with long braids, but I forgot her name. There's a few Miku with long braids. Can you describe the outfit at all? Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that might work. She's in a pose, but I'm struggling to find a clear official art reference for the Muse Dash Miku. So I also don't want to use other artists' um, work. Ooh, Miku in Muse Land, Muse Dash, Hatsune Miku. Right, I don't want to use another artist's work literally because I don't like have permission off them. But sometimes with Google, it can be hard to spot when it's something that's been, like, reposted, you know. So I'm trying to find official art because, one, it'll be a direct, like, perfect reference image for it. And two, I'm not, like, using someone else's content on the stream without their permission because kind of sucks. I think this one's official. Naveen says, I'll just search one braid Miku and maybe I'll find it. Okay, it was a Wonderland Miku figure. Well done, you got it. I'm going to press play so you've got something to look at because this is taking me longer than I expected. I think the one I've got should be... It, it seems like it's an official image. That, or they're just really good at drawing, whoever drew it. This one for Muse Dash is the clearest image I can find that seems official. <laughs> and Wonderland fi Miku figure. So. Ooh. Oh, with the really long braids over her arms. Yes. Yes, that one's so pretty. With like the translucent ends. Is that what you mean? She's in, like, a pink dress. Oh, dear, and I saw that one. Master of Lays. I have another request, but I don't know if the character in question is actually Miku. Uh, I suppose it depends on context whether they count, so it probably counts. It might. Which one is it? And yes, that is the right one. Okay, I'll write down Wonderland. Hang on. Got it. Master Blaze. Who was on your mind? Fuck Anonymous getting the giggles. I don't know, sometimes sometimes Crack Anonymous is laughing in chat and then they come out with Battle Cats Miku. <laughs> I'm, got, I'm, I'm watching you. <laughs> See, this isn't too high quality, really. But it's literally the best one I can find. Uh, Astro Blaze, the character in question is from the video book by Pyreki Bear. Oh, Kai E. Riki. Kai E. Riki. Okay. I'm tongue tied. I really need a drink. I'm just parched. Hang on. I'll be able to talk better after this. Sorry. 
so much better. <laughs> the song is sung by Miku, but I'm not sure if that's enough to count. Uh, could you drop the music video in the Discord? We could see. These eyes are so iconic, though. Okay, right. Things moving, so... Her eyes are going to the left. Give her a bit more of a grin. Her arms are... Right, are they being motion blurred to move down? Oh, absolutely. Well, not motion blurred, sorry. Smith. Stretched. What's my arm? Nothing. Hmm. So her shoulders are kind of in place, but her arm is smear. This arm needs to come up. Okay. And the leggies. Uh, we are staying on this leg on tiptoes. And this leg is being raised even further okay um let's see astroblaze up to date naveen i remembered we were talking about project sekai what if you did miku from the empty sekai dear rain's got some cute emotes is that like oh i thought there was a lot less monster emote at the end there empty one is that the white one i think i was looking at a figure for that one the other day <laughs> i'll check in a moment we'll get some want to get a, oh she's got star clips in her right this one is going to be absolutely delightful to color this one's going to be beautiful once she's colored in isn't she come on because the others are already so vivid looking. Oh, I need to like. Because I can change the line art colour just for this too. Uh, Astroblaze says she sent it. And Naveen has agreed. And the white Miku for the empty one. Yes. The empty, sorry. Yeah. And yes, we can put her in. But yeah, I didn't know she had an android. I didn't know she had an android and I found one, like, literally. I think I discovered it on stream. It's like, she got an android. I'm trying to, like, reverse her hair because she's facing the wrong, the other way, the opposites. I think I'm doing my, my same problem. I keep trying. I always want to draw the hair first because the hair's more fun. For some reason, I just seem to consistently struggle at starting with the hair. Like, it's, it's a weird problem to have, but it's a problem. Okay, she does have a late. Is that a layered skirt? Oop. She has a layered skirt, she has bow collar. Let's go for the bow collar. She's so far away. Can I make the reference in the image smaller and bring it closer? We're going to go with that. It's going to make it easier for me. Because one of the main things I've been struggling with is like going between the art and the reference. So if I just make it smaller and bring it in, that might make my life easier. Mr. Blaze, they did a song with V Flower and the character looks like V Flower. Okay. Dear Rain, I don't have any stuff to say. I'm Miku'd out. It's okay. You suggested many, many, many Mikus. It's it's fine to need to recover. We still appreciate you being here. Ooh. I mean, the character art does look Miku-y. So it's sung by Miku. The character looks like Miku, but it's not actually Miku. I think because she's got a module for it and it it's being sung by Hatsune Miku. 
and there's a character design for the Hatsune Miku, then I think she counts. Because I'm looking at it like the Sonic Miku module. Like, that's not Sonic. It's Miku dressed as Sonic. Does that make sense? So, dear Rain, are you still doing the watercolours? How are they going? Okay, it kind of looks like there's a heart shape here or something on that armband. But it's definitely this, and it's got like ruffles. Oops. But yeah, I was debating putting a poll up, being like, oh, what's your favorite Miku? <laughs> and then it was like, I mean, obviously, Battle Cats, do I even need to? Oh, her neck. Right, what's her neck doing? Her neck's there, which means her shoulder needs to, like, not be that high. Just going to move some parts around, because I've gone about this. The old base for this that I, like, sketched out is pretty wonky. <laughs> and, Erin, you've stopped watercoloring. It's valid. I noticed you posted earlier as well, didn't you? Uh, I was, I literally noticed while I was in an elevator, <laughs> I was out, so I, I've not checked that out yet. Actually, the bow might cover that anyway. I'll be able to check it out later. Oh, Dear Rain does, uh, Dear Rain post has been posting quite a lot of content. They're very committed. Zero one. Naveen, I'm asking everyone for no reason, but what's your favorite Vocaloid song? That's a good question for everyone. It's very V oh very broad. Um I really like Alien. <laughs> Alien Alien is one of my favorites. Um, but one of my all time favorites, like Alien is a recent recent one. I'm currently enjoying I think it's Conton Boogie. That one's that one's got some good energy to it, um. But one of my like top favorites is Kimi no Taeon or Taeon. It's not really heard it said, but I love that one, and I love the Project Mirai music video for Kimi no Taeon. Taeon, it's very pretty. I I love the little collage themed characters that are in that one in the background. If you did check the music video, it's very cute. I remember I needed to make a sketchbook and I wanted it to be, I wanted to include one of my hobbies or interests when I was decorating the sketchbook. So it was just a plain white cover. It was very boring. Um, but I wanted to try and make it subtle. Uh, so I made like the little collage characters from that and put them on the front. It looked really good. She's got clips in, like, Rin. Here, Rin, yeah, all of them. Valid answer. Astra Blaze, if she does count, may I also request Darling Dance by the same person? Same principle. Sure. Back anonymous, I really like Rin Chan now, except the lyrics and coin lock a coin lock a baby. Damn, that's a good one. I think that's what it's coined. Yes, that's such a good one. And I like um Kikuo does some questionable lyrics, like some really gritty lyrics, but some of the songs can just come off so like like, I think this one, like, something about a circle, and then in the image, it's, like, a bunch of little silhouetted characters dancing in a circle. And it's weird how they all include, like, these weird sound effects that are essentially, like, pots and pans being smashed together. 
And it's like, there's no way that should sound good in a song, and then it does. And Rin Chan now is quite catchy. It's very high energy, that one. I first experienced that song in a uh, in one of the games. And I was like, what is going on? Rin needed a restraining order for that song, honestly. Naveen, oh my god, those are some of my favourites, Quack Anonymous. And Quack Anonymous, also any Wow Wacker song. Yes, absolutely. And uh, Mitchy M. Mitchy M just seems to never miss. It's another one. I should just go through my phone playlist. I love Skeleton Orchestra. It's got different names, though. It's kind of hard to... It's, it's more hard to find online because it's not as popular. But... It's easiest to find if you look up Skeleton or Orchestra for Project Miro, I've found. As well as I have countless favourite Vocaloid songs. I also can't tell the difference between Vocaloid and V-Synths anymore. <laughs> Quack Anonymous, anyway, BRB. Okie dokie, bye. Ooh, she has like little sparkles in her hair too. How are we doing them stars? That was a really wonky star though, isn't it? I think uh, is it Constellation or, or Solar System Disco? I think it's Constellation Disco. Really like that one too. And then, like, favourite songs to play in games as well, if anyone's played the rhythm games. I mean, that's also a really fun question. Because in that case, I do really like the demon one. I've been trying so hard to get that on perfect. Um, Demons and the Dead. That's really fun to play. Tearing Brood. Absolutely agree. Picked up bread while I was out. There you go. I mean, I found Rinchan now in Project Sakai. And I found it when I just started. So for some reason, I did it on Expert. And I did just a few hours. So I downloaded the game. Rinchan now on expert is like a button mash. I'm I'm very impressed you did that. Well done. I know, like I am definitely. I'm not competitive with a lot of games, but I will play Project at Miku games competitively. And by that, I mean not that I'm competing with anyone else, but that I will, like, keep resetting every time I get a safe and be like, nope, I will get perfect. <laughs> I, um... I become fixated when I play rhythm games. And you're combining rhythm games, one of my favourite games, with, uh... Vocaloid, something that I have loved since I discovered it. So, my attention is hooked. It's like I've never actually played any Final Fantasy games, um, but I love Final Fantasy Feet Rhythm. I know the Final Fantasy games from the music videos and stuff in Feet Rhythm, not because of f actual Final Fantasy. Remember, like, having a discussion with someone about, like, about Final Fantasy? We were talking about it for ages. And, like, he was proper into the conversation. And then he was like, which games have you played? I was like, Feet Rhythm. He's like, yeah, but you've also played this game, this game, and this game, right? And I'm like, why do you assume I played them ones? And he said it was because, obviously, we've been talking about them. To which I replied, nope. Absolutely not. I played the music game, and that's where it ends. Goodbye. Oh, I also played Chocobo Tales. 
The one where you get to play as a little bird. That was great. I heard that they was going to do a Final Fantasy orchestra. I'd love to see that. <laughs> Dear Rain, egg, egg, egg. You've never done a rhythm game. Interesting. I think um, if you... I think there is um. There's a Miku game you can play on mobile. It's not quite the same. What is this skirt doing? It reminds me of mushrooms. So she's got a big belt for the cat. The skirt is... Oh, it's ruffles. It's two layers of ruffles. And it's a black skirt with a white trim. Okay. Gotcha. So, comically large belts because fashion. Some big old stars here and here. Gotta map them out though. There we go. So they're a bit less messy. And then... Just ruffles, I guess. Um, Astro Blaze, I've been playing the crap out of Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory recently. It's gotten me back into rhythm games. Dear Rain, it's a year 2K skirt. I don't know if you're bullying her or if you're saying it genuinely, but you're not wrong. Either way, you're not wrong. She's definitely pulling it off, though, with the whole vibe. And over here is that really big cat. It's cute, though. Not as cute as the shark costume cats I got today. Well, those squeaky clean ran off with the saw one. They're all the little cats in costumes. And apparently, so like the, the person... Brings them back from Japan, the person that owns the stall, and she sells them. She has an Instagram as well. I think it's I think it's M dot O dot Chupon. But she sells those. And they're really high quality. They're proper figurines. And apparently in Japan, there's this little cat figure in Gachapon who's got a name, and I've already forgot it, that's super popular, and they're always selling out. And she was dead lucky and grabbed, like, a whole set, a full, complete set, right? And so I was, like, struggling because I couldn't decide, and so Squeaky just bought the lot from her. But then he commandeered the Saw Shark costume. <laughs> There's music notes on the belt. That's cute. There's also a couple of clips here. As long as we've got a vague idea where everything's going, I'll neaten everything up when I'm actually drawing it. Uh, the Squeaky's actually on a roll today with, um, you know, just being the best partner ever. I was in a bad mood this morning. I was just really sad and grumpy. And it was one of them days where I was like, I wasn't grumpy or mad at him or anything. I think the cats had annoyed me. Yeah, I remember why the cats annoyed me. Regeki peed on the floor and I stood in it, guys. I stood in it. And I was in socks. <laughs> okay, so if it's too dark, Regeki sometimes misses the litter box. But well, he has no excuse because we left the light on for him. And he missed. And I stood in it in my socks. So I was really grumpy this morning. And squeaky clean, right, goes into the kitchen and makes souffles. He just goes and makes souffles. I was like, what inspired this? And he was like, I saw an Instagram about how to make them. We have the ingredients in and you were sad. So here we go. I'm like, damn, I've never had these before. Oh, great. We did so well. 
Hey, chat. Um, Mir Rain, I have no thoughts in my head, so I don't know. Uh, Naveen, be right back. I need to find a charger until we meet again. Bye bye. Oh, you're back already. Hello. Hello, Robinson. Robinson Arts. I'm going to say Henry. Henry J. Am I saying that correctly? Welcome. We are drawing Miku's. I'll press play. We can see what we're up to. So this is the Miku currently. If you have any requests, feel free to drop any. But we're slowly drawing loads of different Miku's. We also have part one up here with even more. Many, many girls. Figurines, games, collabs, modules, the lot. If you have a request, just drop them in. So we've got many. They're all going to be part of one big animation eventually. We just need to get there. That's all. And currently, every single one is a request. And it's a little bit of a community project in that way. Not my phone giving me a notification that I'm meant to go live at 8 p.m. when it's already 9. A bit late. In back green, dear. Okie dokie, where are we? Pigtails. Yeah, because she's really thin here, but chunkier here. But I get, I'll make the model look a lot nicer when it's uh, on to detailing mode. What on earth is the hair? I think the hair isn't doing anything styled in particular other than these extra, extra bits. These are the bits of stylization. But I think the whole point of this one is uh, more a case of just having very big shapes taking up space. Very energetic styling. As opposed to a particular haircut. Hi Naveen. Uh, Nitin. Dear Rain. Here's some tea for your trouble and boba. It's not boba in it. Oh wait. Although actually now I'm a little bit sad. <laughs> I've not had boba in ages apart from when I finished um I finished my art when I finished my art course uh my friend um so my friend was studying abroad here and I can't remember if she'd fully decided yeah I think at this point she decided to move to London but either way it was either she was going to move back home or she was going to move to London to take on the next course up to like continue there at school. But either way, I wouldn't really be getting a chance to see her again. So we went out for boba before. I think that was actually the last time I had a boba. I do miss her. She was great. She was lovely. Yeah, let's just get that shape in there so we can start the next Miku. I think that's way too chunky for what this is doing, though. Something a bit more like that? I don't like it. <laughs> Dear Rain, that's sad, Rain Cloud. Yeah! I was, literally, I was literally, my thought process went, oh, I don't remember the last time I had boba. Wait, yeah, I do. Sad times. It was really good. It was really good, though. And I got, like, an, a flavour. Like, you know where you get a... F Have you ever gotten, gone out with, like, a friend and they recommend... You don't know what you want at a place, you're unfamiliar, and then they'll recommend something and you're kind of thinking, I don't know if I'll like that. But you give it a shot, and then obviously pleasantly surprised, and it's actually good. It was one of them, it was like a flavour I didn't know at all, but she was insisting it was a good one. It was a type of tea. 
like I know boba tea is like a thing, but it was heavy on the tea side, flavor wise, and I don't usually drink a lot of tea. Next up is uh Haruka Haruka style. I actually do need to write down the requests the Astro Blaze dropped as well. Haruka style Miku, go! Cute! So I was also thinking of essentially doing a subathon. So if I get a subscriber whilst I'm live, adding an extra two Miku frames to the project to extend it, because the goal is to get to at least 100. Now I know that I know that Naveen followed whilst I was live. So that would mean that we get 102 Mikus if I'm to do it. I can start a tally chart of extra Mikus potentially. Or should we just stop at the 100 mark? What are people's opinions on that one? What's one of the Vocaloid subjects? I know um, Naveen actually asked earlier if, like, what people's favourite Vocaloid songs were. Does anyone have a favourite Vocaloid artist? It's like a specific creator name. Oop, it's saving. Just give it a moment. Huh. Why is the YouTube layout being weird for me? Huh. Like, Nautilian? Maybe like Alien Alien? Uh, Dance Robot Dance? And I think Solar System Disco? They also do, um,. It's like a planet themed what something planet I can't remember. Talk anonymous, you should stop at a hundred because you'd probably be put tired adding all those Mikus. Dear Rain, I love sweet tea. Eight hundred Mikus. Ha, I'm confused. I was debating the concept of adding extra Mikus. I know what you mean though. Crack Anonymous, because at first I was like, I could do like five per, and then I quickly thought, no, because that could get chaotic way too quickly. <laughs> These also do need like a lot of detail when they're done properly. But then there's also more room then to add things like extra Battle Cats Mikus. <laughs> Ma, can you say sup? Sup. Hello. Do you like Vocaloid? Do you like Miku? I'm taking requests. They're all going to be really pretty when they're actually done. But we're sketching everybody in currently. Welcome to the stream, Ma. Press play over here, you can see an idea of how they're going to look. It's just also nice to see colour. <laughs> they're very fancy. I think it's like this is the highest level of detail I've really been putting into stuff. I've really been going to town on like the hair on these, really. There's a lot of detail y'all are going to miss when this is a published animation. <laughs> Uh, Dear Rain, the Jacro Miku heart. Draw my own personal Jacro Miku. To be honest, with the weird, like, weirdly specific collaborations Miku's done, it wouldn't even be surprising at this point, I think, if we were like, hey, Krypton, there's this one YouTuber who's like a very small channel, this one YouTube channel, do you want to do a Miku collab? Or well, maybe I could. That could actually be cute if I like snuck in a Miku dressed like one of my comic characters or something. 
That could be cute. Wait, I could add in um So I've got I've got like a really cute um like scripted magic themed comics. So I could put one of them or she could dress like Mimi. They look amazing. Welcome, Biscuits. I'm a bit hesitant to pronounce your username because I think it's French and I might butcher it. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll press play for you, though. We're doing weekly requests. I'm currently on this portion. Dear Rain, you got a new sub. You're 57 now. So, you know, thank you for subscribing if you're in chat. That would be an extra two, extra four Mikus in total, because that would be Naveen and whoever the new subscriber is. So this is part two. It's a little community project. Every Miku is a request from somebody. Uh, let's see, if I had to try, I'd, I'd probably guess something like Jamie, but if you were to tell me how to say it correctly, I will do my best. I'm really sorry. Uh, but yeah, what about the Mikus? If you have requests, drop them in chat and they'll get added. We're currently on this Miku sweet something. No, Haruka. Okay. What's I thinking of? Naveen, one of my friends messaged me and told me there was a Oh, shoot her outside her house that got arrested. Is that normal for a Saturday? I hope it's not normal. I hope that's not a normal event for your friend. Is your friend okay? I hope your friend's safe. But then, no, I don't think that's a normal Saturday, or at least it shouldn't be a normal Saturday. That bow looks really cute, but that bow is too high up on her head. Dear Rain Naveen, I don't know how to say this, but no, that's not normal for a Saturday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and I thought I was having a bad day because my cat peed on the floor. Oh, I need to count those blessings. Then again, cat pee isn't a blessing. Okay, I'm not, I'm not saying this. <laughs> it's not great, but it could be worse. Bring her hand up. This hand is still moving down. We're going to keep the motion of the smear going. Ooh, Ghost Wolf by Teto just come on. That's a treat. And she's got a glove. Ooh. Dairy dropping honey. I'm going to assume all these foods you're dropping is specifically for the Pusheen. Because we were like, Pusheen needs more. Needs more. <laughs> I drew the, we've got a Pusheen Miku back here, everyone. And it was too skinny, so it was like, we need to give it, we need to give it more food. <laughs> Cute. Anonymous, sorry for not talking much. I'm busy today, lol. It's okay. I appreciate that you're here. We still appreciate the company. Uh, Jamie Biscuits. That happens a lot by my house. Oh no, it's normal for a Saturday for you too. Astro Blaze or any other day for the of, for that matter. Okay, dear Rain. Also, he ran away. Oh no, he's on the loose. Hope your friends lock the door then. So long as they don't like go go near me, I guess I'm a little bit worried. Uh, 
Ooh, fluffy. She's got like a fluffy trim on this. That's cute. Don't worry, it'll look nicer. Uh, shoulder straps. Really big bow. It's a really odd bow, actually. And the smear's in the way. Uh, Naveen, yes, thankfully. And yesterday, Rain. Darren said he can shoot other dudes. Someone can get him at jail. Get him in jail. Hmm. You know, for ages, I thought the difference between jail and prison was just American versus English. You know how in America and England, it's like we call, we say tap, and an American might say faucet, but they're the same thing. And for the longest time, I thought jail and prison was like sweater and jumper. Yes, we call sweaters jumpers, but I personally call them sweaters anyway, because jumper just sounds weird to me. Where are you jumping to? I ain't jumping. Sweater makes more sense. Who came up with jumper? <laughs> I used to think that it was a like American language versus English language thing, and then Squeaky told me that it's actually there's actually a difference that I've already forgotten again. Like they're actually different. Oh, what emote is that? Is that a little spaceship? What work are you? Tip and crisp, yes. Tip and crisp, um, rise and shit as well. Um, aluminum and aluminium but I think that's just how we pronounce them differently um, I think faucet and tap is the most obscure one personally because that one's just got such a big difference compared to the other words Yeah, have we got any more artists in chat as well? I know so far we've got quite a, had quite a few. Like Naveen, I tried checking out your. I had a little look at your channel earlier. I was out shopping, so I didn't really have a lot of time to actually click on anything. But I know you've got a couple of long format videos and a couple of reels. I've not checked anything else yet. Out yet though. You know what's really interesting is seeing what the algorithm says after these um, when it tells you, oh, yeah, this is a pleated skirt, but just like not big, the big pleats. Okay. This one's quite a simple design. A lot of them have been very detail heavy. This one's quite refreshing. It's like, there she is. She's done. What? Oh, oh, jam and jelly. Jam and jelly is one. Naveen, how do you how did you get introduced to Vocaloid at everyone? Okay. And dear Rain, you know the Ruperps? The clothes thing, I call them jumpers. Dress with pants instead of skirt. Dress with pants instead of skirts? Jumpers? Do you mean Call them dungarees. Do you mean these? Where it's got a little strap and pants. You can have like a pocket here or pockets here. Do you mean them? We call them dungarees. Uh, Naveen, though, how did you get introduced for Vocaloid? Is something I've not thought about in ages. Um, I'll be honest, I don't remember. I have liked Vocaloid for as long as I've had access to the internet. I think my first interaction was more meme -y trendy trending ones. So more memeable trending songs like um, Poppy Po and Triple Backer. Stuff like that that are meme -y but trend. And I was like, this is really cute. I like these characters. And then I discovered 
the disappearance of Hatsune Miku. And then I was like, whoa, they do like some really intense songs. And then that's when I'll have discovered extras like Magnet. Um, but I think I, I just discovered them when I was first allowed on the internet. And like spam listen to their songs. <laughs> I remember uh I remember this distinct summer holidays when because just because I've discovered the song by the way does not mean that that's when it was published. Sorry, I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, I think that's it. I'm muted, don't worry. Naveen, for me, it was the song Triple Backer. Yes! <laughs> okay, okay. Um, Naveen, yeah, I know those. Astro Blaze, it was an Oliver Culver of Pony <laughs> fan song. That checks out. That's fun. I didn't, you never spoke of My Little Pony, actually. I didn't know you liked Pony. I'm, I'm not laughing at you or anything. It's just, huh, new fact. Uh, Rain Jaden from QSMP talked about Hatsune Miku, and that's how I know. Uh, Jamie Biscuits, jam and jelly are two different things, I'm pretty sure. Jam has like parts of the fruit, whilst jelly is completely mashed. In England, jam is both of those variants, so it's a spreadable fruit that you can like put on toast. And it comes in a little jar. Let's imagine it like this. And you can twist the cap off and oh, it's strawberry. And some of it is basically mashed and boiled with sugar jam of like strawberries. Let's just go with strawberries. Um, and some of it is they've basically strained out the seeds and fruit. So it's just the, the jam on its own. And some of it has actual jam pulp in it. So it's got like fruit and seeds. Now jelly for us. So both of those are jam. Either way, you can we call it seeded or unseeded because one has seeds removed. Jelly for us, the best way I can describe it is it's the dessert where when they draw it in cartoons, it looks like this and it wobbles. It's that dessert. So in a cartoon, it's really shiny, usually red, and it wibble wobbles on a plate. That's a jelly. So jam and jelly in an American term I'm unsure, but both jam and jelly is this product that you'd put on a toast. Um, Because you said that both are both. So both of those variants, this, jam, and then this one, jelly. So if you ask for jelly on toast, you get a funny look because you're asking for this whole dessert, which is basically fruit-flavored gelatin. That's why we call it jelly. Um, And if you ask for jam with your dessert you would be given a basically mushed fruit type thing i just find it really interesting like just the uh, both english words so to speak but the same word means something different vice versa with english and american that's why faucet is one of my one of the ones i find the most interesting because it is just so different it's completely left field Faucet in in England is not a thing. That's like an American word. That's totally different. We don't have that. That's not a word here. It doesn't translate to something else like how if you ask for jam or jelly, you could get the other product. Or if you ask for a jumper or a sweater sort of thing. Gosh, I remember I've got a friend who I, I was friends with her. Well, I am still friends with her. We still talk weekly, but um, I've been friends with her for absolutely years, and she lives in America. And it occurred to her one day that I was in Britain, and I remember she just called me and was like, how do you say aluminum? Like, pardon? <laughs> she was like, say aluminum. I was like, she didn't even say hello, she was just like, what's aluminum? And I was like, aluminium. And... Oh my god, she howled. She couldn't she she he then proceeded to try and pronounce aluminium and she couldn't. It was like a tongue twister. 
then again, she then said coupon differently. So, like, the way she pronounced coupon was, like, with a Q. So it was, like, coupon or something like that. And I can't say it the way she was saying it. But we were just kind of sat there with words for ages. She literally just called and was like, hey, I remembered you are in Britain. And I was like, yes. Unfortunately, why? <laughs> It's so funny. She does just call sometimes and ask me just really random stuff. Sometimes it's just a normal conversation, but occasionally we get some wonderful conversations. Um, chat's moved a bit, so I'm going to check. Ah, Jamie Biscuits, we call it Jello, but with jam, we have so many variants. Irin has a CD, and Naveen, did you do Miku Dayo? Miku Dayo is high quality, and Miku Dayo is on the list. She is put down at number 61, so she's not been drawn, but she is on the list. A good question, though, for everybody is, do we... <laughs> so, see how the Fall Guys Miku is really short? And so is the uh, Battle Cats Miku? Should Miku Dayo be small? Or should Miku Dayo be big? Should it be small like a Nandroid or big like a mascot costume? How do we put it in? Because there is the other meme one. Uh, Yabba Vaina is tall, but in the art style. <laughs> Sorry, it's so funny. Also, Naveen, you did mention when you were talking about um, how people got into Vocaloid. Um, how, did you, how did you? You mentioned... Triple backer as well. Yeah, Jello makes sense because jelly, Jello, but at the same time, it's totally different because jelly is a word here too. I'm so nervous. I feel like if I was eating an American restaurant, biscuits, biscuits. Oh my gosh, American biscuits versus English biscuits. Our biscuits are cookies. Your biscuits are like little dough ball things. Like, I don't know what they actually are. I've only seen pictures. Your biscuits, you serve them with gravy. I remember when my friend first told me, she was like, oh yeah, biscuits and gravy. And I was like, why are you putting gravy on biscuits? Ew. So I thought she meant cookies, like a chocolate chip cookie or like a ginger cookie. That's what a biscuit is here. We call them biscuits and cookies. Like you can call it either. But then, like, biscuits in America is like a meal thing, not a snack. And I first heard it that way. I was like, oh, I've heard, oh, no, 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 please don't dunk your keys in gravy. I had a sigh of relief when I found out they were basically like some sort of dumpling or bread. <laughs> okay, that's three votes for a small Mikudayo. Four votes. Oh, wait. No. Yeah. Three votes for a small Mikudayo. Kidoki. I'll remember. We're going to have a look on Miku and who is next? Harry Fure. We're getting closer and closer to that egg Miku. Just saying. My search history is so strong with Miku searches now. Yes, 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 yes. This is one of my favorite ones. I was obsessed with this for a while. I know one of the other questions, I can't remember, I think I asked it about people's favorite artist, Pinocchio P. Love Pinocchio P. Like, especially like, I've not looked at Pinocchio P's stuff recently. I know, like, a lot of their classic work was great. Which one of these models is a better quality to copy one? You'll copy this image. That is Discord. I did not mean to open Discord. <laughs> um, boom. Is, is it Lonely UFO, this one? Is it one of the rare short pigtail Mikus, too? Mm. 
Uh, Jamie Biscuits. Biscuits are like a bread that are normally very flaky. Naveen, how many Mikus do you have on the list? The flaky texture, like the savoury flaky kind of like, you know what? That kind of sounds like a scone. Do you have scones? And is it like a scone? Because we can make scones savoury as well, like with cheeses and stuff, but we can also make them sweet and serve them with like cream and sugar. But cream strawberries is my favourite combo for sweet scones. For savoury ones, I'm I'm just classic for cheese. I like cheese. I bought some cheese today, actually. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, Navi and I will get your question in a moment. I'm just going to do the bandage on her nose. Should I give her another little Pinocchio P mascot? Uh, Navin, we have on the list, we're currently up to number 56 out of the minimum of 100. On the list in total, we've got 75 Mikus written down. And I know Astro Blaze has two more for me to add. But I lost them in the chat messages, so I was either going to just mither her later for them or just scroll back through chat to collect those. So I kind of lost what the character was called. But then again, she, you've already sent it in a Discord, so I've already got them. So I can I can write them down when I've got a moment. Because I think I missed writing them because you would you were getting the YouTube video first. Actually, we do have a few people here, so we could ask them about the dang ask everybody their opinion on the potential Dangan Romper one as to whether it'd be cheating or not. Uh Jamie Biscuits, we do. And yes, it's close to a scone. Our scones are normally sweet here. Okay. So yeah, like a s like okay. So that makes more sense. As to why you'd serve it with something like the gravy. I do think your gravy is different to ours as well. But I understand how gravy works and having different types of gravy is going to work. Um. So yeah. <laughs> so like a cheese scone is very nice served with things like tomato soup, for example. Soups in general. Um, because it's more of a savoury version. But yeah, I, I my first thought when I first heard of it, like, come on, I think it was fair shock. Imagine you were just minding your business and then your friend like slowly dips a chocolate chip cookie into some gravy and eats it and they're like, mmm, this is my favourite. <laughs> but no, what are you doing? It's like I usually I usually try to be a, a big advocate for if someone's doing something weird but it's not hurting anyone, if no one's being hurt by what's happening, then just let people enjoy what they're doing. And when I say that, I'm applying it to things like cosplayers, for example, and you might have somebody that'll bully and be like, oh, they, they like anime, oh, they like Vocaloid, or they like cosplay for community-related examples. Um, and it's like, are they hurting anyone? No? Then shut up. Um, and I'm the same with food. But I could not hide my surprise. Hey, my knee hurts. Have you hurt your knee? Are you, like, sat at a desk or something? Do you like some stretches? Oh, you were petting your dog. Um... Astro Blaze Animations, Bug and Darling Dance. Thank you. Okay, this Miku has shoulder that way. This hand's going up still. Uh sleeves her uh i remember a cosplayer i used to follow she did the best miku cosplays they were so fun 
she did a really nice one for this. The colours she got for like the shorts and the scarf were really vivid and pretty. I mean, it's just really nice fabric. Okay. I like textiles. Um, got a bit of a hyperfixation when it comes to um, textiles and sewing. And it's interesting because I didn't even know I did. Uh, but Squeaky just noticed over time that I, I can nerd out when it comes to textiles. And he's like, you realize this is like a hyperfixation, right? And I'm like, but I don't even make clothes. And it's like, yeah, but do you not see what you're doing? Let's 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 go through this. I'm trying not to get myself started on, on bricks. Okay, we will have like some line details for the sweater. Yeah, I'll even I'll even talk about stuff like um thread counts and look at like like hems on stuff, like how you'd get like a hem along the bottom. I'd look at like the stitching. Astro Blaze, pretty sure most people who like trains don't make trains either. Oh, you've got a great point there, actually. Validation in the trains. The squeaky clean actually made a friend recently who is absolutely obsessed with trains. It was great. Um, <laughs> we we do have a train nearby. Textiles what? Hey, rain. Textiles is the word used to vaguely sum up. Things for sewing. So if somebody said, Oh, I work in textiles, it means that they work with fabrics, basically. So if you were a cosplayer who made your own clothing, you'd be using textiles to make the clothing. It's a really, really vague term for the type of stuff. It'd be like a textile project. Texture? No, it is different. Oh, these are chunkier. These little boxes. It is different. Texture is how something feels. So if you had a piece of fabric and the piece of fabric was fluffy, the texture would be fluffy, right? If you wanted to purchase some fluffy fabric, you would go to a shop that sells textiles. So if you were going to like a shop, so here's your shop, that would sell me textiles. It kind of translates to fabrics, but it'd have other related stuff to textiles in the shop too. So, like, we have Hobbycraft and they have a textile section where it has loads of different fabric fabrics, like muslin cloth, uh, fluffy, uh, fake fur type stuff, uh, patterned, cotton, all sorts. That is that. Um, and her foot is there. But she's got fluffy boots too. So fabric, yeah, basically. It's kind of fabric. It is and is it because it's its fabrics are included. And textile is in if someone said, Oh yeah, I work with textiles, that could vaguely mean anything from they work in a shop that sells fabric to they actually sew and make and embroider clothing or patches. It could be anything in between, it's, it's a vague term. But yeah, a lot of the time it does basically mean fabric. Uh, if you had a class in it, for example, you'd call it a textile class. 
Oh, you'd be in the textile department because it's the vague umbrella term again. Okay, her foot is kind of holding place but also moving up. So I'm going to cheekily trace with the onion skin the boot I drew before. And basically move it to the, to the right. Because it's holding the position but moving slightly. As she's teetering to the left a little bit. Wait, no. How did I draw the leg on this side? Oh, I just kind of like... Just put it in the boot. There you go. And I can curve that and... I'll fix it later. Yeah, Rain, a tailor's, not quite a tailor's, a bit different. A tailor is more likely to be fixing your clothes. So a tailor is where you take your cosplay to fix it. We're sticking with cosplays now. If it's like, oh, this is too big or too small, can you adjust the size? Or if your dress is too long, they can like lengthen it, like take off that length. So that's tailoring or a tailor's. But a tailor's would be part of the textile industry. So tailoring and a tailor's do a different purpose, but they're the textile industry. Ta-da! I do really like this one. And... Oh, how close are we to the egg? Press play. Next one is Breathe With You. Oh, is anybody celebrating Easter, by the way? I know my family... Oh my god, I put in Breathe With You and I've got a bunch of stock image people of... Images of people, like, posing and breathing towards the sky. Uh, Miku, please. Oh, she fancy. I might sneeze again. Sorry. Sneezed. Dear Rain, a person who makes clothes is a tailor. I looked it up. Yeah. Someone who makes clothes is a tailor, but they're working with textiles. So the tailor is part of the textile industry. Kind of like how culinary means cooking. So like if you're part of the culinary industry, you could be cooking, but at the same time you might be like on serving, like waiter waitering sort of thing. Oops, wrong button. Trying to insert, not remove. Also, if anyone's new in chat, feel free to drop Miku requests, please. We still need to get to 100. We're currently on 75 out of 100 on requests, and we're currently sketching number 56. So we've got over half the frames so far. Master Blaze, I'm celebrating Easter by not being at work. Heck yeah! Naveen, I'm celebrating Easter. Also, what time are you going to end the stream? Just asking, because I don't know. Uh, usually, I end at 10. If it's particularly busy or for whatever, we can we can go over sometimes. But I'm supposed to do between 8 and 10, which means technically there's five minutes left to this stream. We've gotten quite a few Mikus. Dear Rain, I have 10 days off because of Easter. We're going to make our own chocolate eggs. We've got meltable, we've got chocolate intermelt. Um, and um, Easter egg molds. So we're going to make some chocolate. I did do a chocolatiering course. Uh, but so I, I <laughs> I'm a bit rusty. I didn't even do that course because I wanted to. I did a chocolatiering course against my will, guys. Against my will. 
And whilst I was there, the the woman in charge spent so long trying to convince me to date her son. <laughs> She try and bribe me with chocolates, and I'm like, "Girl, I'll take the free chocolate, though." But yeah, I did. I did like a chocolate tearing course. I think the best thing we made was chocolate truffles, but they were so much effort to make that once I was done, I was literally there thinking, "I am never going to do this at home, like ever. This is way too much effort. They're worth the price." <laughs> And again, they were so tasty. Um, Astro Blaze, I forgot school exists. Ten days, all all caps. Oh no, Christian school. Ah, same here, dear Rain. Same, same, same. Oh yeah, I've got school exist. Would exist, dear Rain. Why would she do that? No, I don't know. I was. I I got enrolled on a chocolatering course and it was fun and informative, but she just like sat trained to set me up with her son. And I was like, at first I thought it was a joke, and even then it's a little bit uncomfortable for a joke. Uh, but it wasn't a joke, guys. She, it, it kept happening. Uh, she even like, because I, I did art, right? And I have my own OCs that uh I think they were from my original comics at the time that I was doing at the time, like Baby's First Comics. Um, nothing like my current ones that's in the Instagram. And she was like, oh, my son does art too, because she was tr really trying to sell him to me. And I was like, okay, because I'm being polite and I'm a bit uncomfortable. And then it was like, oh yeah, he does this OC called Tangle Head. And I was like, okay. I know the character um head shape of head uh no, crong tied, sorry. Um object head characters are quite popular. So I was thinking, okay, what do you mean by that? And y'all some of y'all are school age. So I don't, you shouldn't have been watching Silent Hill, but there's still a chance you may have seen imagery of the, the monster pyramid head from it, which is a big monster with a big pyramid head. It's kind of a human with a big sword-like thing. Ah, pyramid head, that's it. Uh, Silent Hill is a very messed up horror movie and game, so I'm not advocating you play it if you're underage or easily frightened, but... She was going on that it was his original, like, there's nothing wrong with OCs for media and stuff, but it was just funny the way it was delivered, the information, because she's like, oh yeah, he does this, and he does, like, comics with it and stuff, and I was like, oh, that's that's interesting. She's like, yeah, it's all his original characters and blah, 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 and I'm like, okay, that's cool, that's cool. And then she showed me, and it was literally pyramid head, but with a rectangle for a head instead. A rectangle head. And I had to keep a straight face. Again, I love I love fan insert characters. I I am always happy to see like people go, I really like this media. So I made an own an OC to exist in this universe, right? But she was going on that it was completely unique. Oh and completely and she was amping it up, this horror thing that he's come up with that's really creative. And I was like, Ooh, that actually sounds very interesting. And then it was just it was just an OC. And the universe she was describing was just Silent Hill. So, like, I'm not bullying his character. So I never actually met the guy. It was just his mum that I'd meet at the course. And she was in charge of the course, too. So, like, I was like, I don't know, I mean, I don't know how to handle this situation. Um, but, yeah, that was that was kind of amusing. I'm like, oh, oh, this horror sounds really interesting, actually. This is really cool. It's really interesting. Why is it just called Pyramid Head? Just called Tangle Head then? If he's come up with all this, it's like, oh, it's because it's Pyramid Heads. It's, 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 it's another guy. <laughs> um, good day, Rain. You have another sub, by the way. What? I got the notifications through. Thank you to whoever's done that subscription. If I click back, can I see? 
I go to like my homepage, maybe, then I could give you a shout out. Mm -mm, the notifications haven't come through for me yet. Thank you to, to the people subscribing. If the notification comes through, I can shout you out in the next stream. How's that? Also, feel free to drop me few requests. This one's looking cute. But no, I really like when, in general, when people enjoy a subject so much, like a piece of media, like a movie, let's go with a movie or a game. It's like, I love this so much, I've made a self-insert for it, and it's like, I'm happy for you, <laughs> genuinely. It's really good to see. It's really nice to see people enjoy things and just be happy, you know? It's like, I enjoy this so much, I've 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 done fan art. And it's like, that's like the best compliment anyone can get is like, fan art, boom. That skirt is so cute. Look at these colours. Wait, Lustra Blaze, are you still lurking? I feel like the this this outfit, I don't know why, but it's giving. Loki Rika. I think it's these frills. I really like these frills, like the frills on the skirt. And then like the big flower flower headpiece. Rika, question mark. Oh, Deirin says that character is in Dead by Daylight. I'll have to get Squeaky to like play it. To, to load it, because Squeaky's been playing that on stream recently. It has hit 10, but I can try and finish this Miku first. If I try, I mean, um, work out what the body's doing, because again, this is such a simple silhouette. Has me really grafted these quick. Ooh. Astro Blaze, it is giving low key recap. <laughs> Irene, like QSMP, I have a character named Flora and she is an egg. Flora is such a cute name. She's not a part of the actual eggs, though. Do you have a video with her? I'm going to like skip, I'm going to go through them all again and look for her. Like, Flora? Oh, sorry, I've kind of assumed that Flora's a she unless you specified. Yeah, you did say she. <laughs> Do not misgender the egg. But Flora, I love the name Flora, actually. Uh, I am always using the name Flourish for, like, grass-type monsters and stuff in games. So, like, my favourite grass types in Pokemon are uh, grass-type Digimon. I'll be calling I'll be calling them flourish to the point where I messed up the evolution on my Belossum because I didn't I evolved it before it learned a move petal dance which meant it ended up being essentially useless because it had no new moves to learn so I was like but I was already attached so I bred it took what the first egg from flourish matched it renamed it flourish junior so he didn't even get a second name. It's Flourish Jr. Love these ruffles. They're like proper circle-y. Yeah, the QSMP. I need to find more videos. Are you still debating doing a... Um, use... Uh, they what are they called? I don't know what type of video it is. Kind of like info videos or, or a video essay, maybe. But at one point, you mentioned you were considering potentially doing like a QSMP recap. Would that be the right word? Like an introduction. Now, I, I, I had no idea what QSMP was. And then I saw Deer Rain's art, and Deer Rain does like really cute eggs. And I was like, ooh, cute eggs. We've got little costumes. And then they told me the media they're from. I recently looked up a video recapping the law, and I'm invested in the eggs. <laughs> I became invested in the law and died. I was so sad. And then as they were appearing, like the one in the dungarees, I was like, oh, Aaron drew that one. I know that one. 
<laughs> I've seen that one before. No, I died. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering how this connects to the net. That's looking a little bit like... I don't know if it's like a collar or something. Oh, there is like a collar thing going on. It's just trying to get a clear image of it. Please, why are the images... For oh my gosh, not that one. Google! I don't think I even need to explain the context there. It's just Google images. You scroll down too far on Google, you get sussied. Oh, there's like more details that's missing. Oh, go away, Google. Yeah, the headpiece is really different on this versus the Nendroid I'm using as a reference. One of the details I will not be adding is apparently there's a thong strap. Uh, she's good without that, thanks. Um, The ruffles on the cuff. Okay, it looks like it's kind of like a ruffly collar. Squeaky clean. I'm not tired enough to sleep. Oh, he's stinky. Oh, oh stinky. Uh oh, stinky poopy. Sticky poopy, no diaper. Oh, they got like she's got like the little diamond ring. Okay, so I think it's just like a ruffly collar, kind of similar to a clown collar. There you go. It is Rika. She's even got like a little ruffly jester collar thing going on. Full clown, Astro Blaze. Full clown. Let's see, um, I recommend Philza on Twitch. That egg name is Bobby. You've drawn Bobby. Oh, Astro Blaze knows who that is. Dear Rain Crow. Oh, what? Why is she wearing that? <laughs> oh, one of them, she literally just has, like, on the hip, a visible thong strap. It's like, um, no thank you. I'm going to make an artistic decision to not draw that. What was worse, okay, is, um, yeah, I saw, like, fan art where, uh, it wasn't, in, it wasn't particularly, uh, sussy, but essentially she was only wearing, like, the, the shirt and the, uh, underwear. I was like, no, Google! No! Not that! So she's got like ruffle things. What's going on in the middle? A stripe? They're in gross. Exactly. So we're making an artistic decision to just leave it at the really cute ruffly skirt. We will not be doing the poor girl dirty. She just wants to wear ruffly cute outfits. See, this one does look way more comfortable to wear. As opposed to the fully metal outfit we got on the last stream. Yen. As Astro Blaze and other people, if you weren't here for that part, we were discussing how uncomfortable some of the outfits would be for her as a performer. Uh, this goes up too. Does she have a tattoo in this one? She usually does. It's just the tattoo number changes. Yay. And her little leggies. Robot me cute. <laughs> she cute. I swear, I'm I'm debating. Did she have like one of them Amazon parcels? You know the not sorry, that was really vague. You know there's a little character who kind of looks like a cardboard box robot. Wait, is that leg? Oh, it's meant to bend differently now. Okay. It kind of looks like cardboard boxes of Amazon, but it's assembled into a little robot. I don't think it was that directly, but there's a Miku that kind of looks like that in style. I can't remember.
You know, if you're not tired enough to sleep, Squeaky, I'm sure Pebble will play with you. You wanna go play with Pebble? You wanna look at his dumb dumb face as he screams at you? <laughs> Pebble has to wear a cone on his head so he's like poopy. He's little lampy. Little lampy. Lampy. <laughs> You see, you see, the joke is he's lampy because he looks like a lamp. You're a cat, sir. And they're mad about it because they've got a big cone on the head after a surgery. That's Pebble. <laughs> and then from the side, he looks like this. He looks like that. And then you've got, like, the rest of the cat. So now he's lampy. <laughs> uh, dear Rain, how many cats do you have? Two. We have one older cat and a kitten. The kitten is Pebble, and Pebble went through surgery. But Pebble has a cone on his head, so now cone now Pebble is also known as Lampy, because he's turned into a lamp part time. So many names. Yes. <laughs> Imagine you come out of surgery with a cone on your head and it's like, oh me, I'm so sad, feel sorry for me. And you just get a uh -huh, lamp. Huh? Excuse me? The hair's kind of like twisting around itself, isn't it? It's very pretty. Okay, I get it now. Yes. <laughs> oh, were you thinking Lampy was an extra cat? Erin, did you think that we had a third cat whose formal written name was Lampy? Because that's amazing. Because <laughs> uh, look, you have to register him at the vet as Lampy. <laughs> Oh, that's really funny. I love it. Maybe. <laughs> that's fair. That's, that's understandable. Understandable. Regeki, Lampy, and Pebble. Oh, so that's, that's great. At least now we have a name ready for the next cat. Little Lampy. No, it's Pebble's nickname when he's wearing the cone. He becomes Lampy. It's like a secret identity. It's like Clark Kent. Or it's a poo brain cat that ate stuff that he shouldn't. And then ended up a lamp. His miraculous is electronics from Ikea. It becomes a lamp. <laughs> Cute! That's a very cute Miku. Ooh. I think we should probably curl this hair piece in ever so slightly, though. Like, not actually curve curve, we're just, um, I'm gonna rotate it down slightly. That's way better. We got Pusheen Miku. Uh, I almost said Catch the Wave, but that's definitely not Catch the Wave. I think that's Muse. And Haruka. Arifure. And Breathe with you. Dear Rain. Dear Rain, the next one is Tiokuru. The next Miku. The next Miku is the egg. Egg, egg, egg. Oh. <laughs> Dear Rain, you want 59, really? That's a lot. That would be. So if I do an extra two Mikus for each new follower, two, four, six, that's three. We're on six. That'd be six already. Yeah, Miku! Naveen, I'm back. Sorry for leaving for a bit. Bad internet. 
We have nothing to apologize, but it's gl I'm glad to see you. <laughs> it's really fun to you tell you have just some good vocaloid knowledge and questions. Oh, who was it you recommended? You recommended a Project Se Sekai. Was it empty? I need to write those down. Shall we go back here? I'll press play over here. But no, welcome back. Astro Blaze requested two. And I was distracted with Artsu. Uh, I'd be scrolling. Ten days when we were discussing Easter. Ah, got them. Bug. Bug and Darling Dance. By... K-A-I R-I-K-I And I think, Naveen, you requested um, Empty from Sakai So yeah, we've got many, many Mikus We now are all the way up to 57 The next one will be Piyokuru we have some uh, jump scare Mikus in here. <laughs> Ava, this is a really wholesome stream. I'm glad I tuned in. Thank you. These are all requests. I don't know how long you've been here. Every single one of these Miku is a request from the Vocaloid community. And they're all getting interjected. All these ones in Sketch are ones that we've done on stream recently. With a few... <laughs> so if I pull up the references, that's why that one looks like that. Because I thought it'd be fun. We agreed it'd be fun to keep the art style. You got a little... You have a vinyl jump scare. Followed by four guys. Uh, we got a Domino's Pizza meet you. <laughs> and just when you think you're safe, boom. Battle cats. So, uh... <laughs> the internet has come through. Oh yeah, there's also a Pusheen Miku through there somewhere. Um, the references are staying on because when they're finished, they will be done to a much higher quality. Ta-da! Do you have a Miku request, Ava? I just got here. Your art style is adorable. Sorry, I'm tr I've accidentally rotated the screen. I'm trying to fix it. Thank you very much. This is particularly cute and squishy styled. Because the goal is to have at least 100 Mikus, all different. And I was like, I need to do something simple. <laughs> simple enough that it's I'm not gonna it's not gonna like I don't want to spend all the time drawing the pose necessarily. I want the focus to be I'll star Hatsune Miku, you know? Do you have any favorites you want to request to go in? It can be. A module, it can be an outfit, it can be anything, so long as it is official. So if it's like someone's fan design, I can't put it in. The rule is it has to be official. Like um we debated this an official Miku car, but I think that one fell under the concept of it's Miku on a car, so technically it'd be like saying draw Miku as a shirt because it's not an iteration of Miku. It's picture of Miku on something. But that's also why things like uh, Fall Guys Miku is allowed in because it's an official design collab. Um, I do animations and stuff a lot on the channel. I've been getting back into it. I've got a couple of reels. Usually this stuff ends up in reels. The next Miku, after this one... Naveen, do you have Miku Rose Cage? I don't. I can Google. Let's see. No, this is really, really nice because it's like, ooh, she's pretty. Oh, she is gorgeous. Look at her hair. I mean, that's a huge win. Oh my gosh. Look at her hair. She's beautiful. That's my pen gone. There it is. 
Hey, Rain, what is Reels? Uh, Reels are YouTube Shorts, which are TikToks. They're that form. I get... I can get confused with them sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I'll say the wrong thing. So they're in my YouTube shorts. I didn't mean to say reels. Sorry. Nice catch, dear Rain. Um, Rose Cage Miku is on the list. Her hair is lovely. Oh, sorry. You're getting all the ref references flashed there. Makes it a bit hard to see. Because like, um, we, did, um, we have this one that I'm looking forward to. The Miku Expo one. With these haircuts. Wonderful. Oh, to own one of these Miku figures. Naveen, you seem to be good with Miku figures. Do you know the name of the one? It's a Halloween Miku. I think there's a lot of orange. She's kind of floating. Um, So she's kind of like lay on her front in a way, but she's floating in the air. I think it's witch themed. It's orange. And I'm pretty sure there's pumpkin motifs. That's one of my favorite figures, but I can't remember what it's called. What was I looking for? Piokuru. P. Yo. P.O. P.O. Who? Root. Okay. Miku. Yo. Yay. Egg Miku. <laughs> uh, do we make it sh small? There's another quad. Oh. So this is a figure as well, but it's uh not the figure y'all are expecting. How come there's an individual close-up image for all of them other than the Miku one? Or was it Lamze P? Uh, who did Kuru Kuru Pa? Kuru Kuru Pa has a really cute little Miku chibi in it. Uh, Ava, message redacted. Redact, redact. You know what I mean. I read that word, redacted, and it makes me think of uh, Magnus Archives. Anyone know it? Uh, Ava, I'm newer to the fandom and I don't have a favourite. I'm just happy to be here. That's fine. How did you get in the fandom? That was actually a question we asked chat earlier. Naveen came up with it. Was, um, like, what is your first interaction with the fandom? And for me, I just kind of, like, stumbled across songs, essentially. Well, welcome to Vocaloid. It might be sticking with you forever. <laughs> it did for me. I discovered it, and then it was there forever. <laughs> uh, Piokuru. Boom. This is what we're looking at. How do I... Who's that? <laughs> How do you... Who's that? Oh, I have a potentially sneaky beaky idea. What's a laugh, Miku? Hang on. So this is like a bunny. Wait. No, with the bunny costume, the bunny hood. It's terrifying, but uh, I'm gonna put in module. So this is like, she's in like a rabbit costume. Not like a bunny girl, but like an actual rabbit hoodie. It's a cute outfit. Let's go with Project Murai. Why is there like no full body images of this? What What's going on? Project Mirai, LOL Miku. Yo, she's just not coming up. I was going to say, we could make, like, the rabbit costume one, hold the eggs, and then it'd be like an Easter bunny, and that'd be kind of cute. Uh, Naveen, are you talking about second season Halloween, Miku? Or am I thinking of the wrong one? Dear Rain, QSMP, Jaden, Astro Boy's animations, very impressed. With the egg Miku. Dear Rain, pigtails for the pose. Wait, that could work. Um. Also, Naveen on the ball with the Miku figures. Let's go see. Second season. 
second season, was it? Yes. Let's see. This costume, but it's a slightly different figure. Where she's like floating. Or close. It's not this, it's not where she's stood up, right? So it's a full scale Miku, it's not an Enderoid. And she's floating, holding onto a pumpkin. It's very cute. So you think I should ch change the pose on the on the pigtails? Ava, I believe I was introduced to the songs by Rachi. I absolutely love her covers, but I listen to her actual songs, like not covers, because of Sarah Spaceman man, and she made a Miku cosplay. But Dear Rain also watches Sarah Spaceman. Is she on YouTube, I'm guessing? We're all here on YouTube today, so it's safe to assume YouTube. Okay, so Egg Miku. Pose her inside the egg. Because the, the things are printed on the egg shell. The whole thing is kind of shaped like an upside down egg if you look at it. Which is interesting. It's smaller at the top, bigger at the... T it's bigger at the top and smaller at the bottom, that egg shape. Like, that's more of a traditional egg. They're a little bit more like that. Do we make it little? An itty bitty egg. So at the bottom... You know what, Squeaky? I have played not much Dragon Quest Builders today. Are you proud of me? This is the least amount of Dragon Quest Builders I've played since getting Dragon Quest Builders. <laughs> it's like Minecraft, but with even more stuff to do. Like quests and stuff. It's amazing. I'm going to just move that to the left so we kind of keep that pose separately. So I could make it big-ish. I can shrink it down afterwards. I'm just trying to get an idea of showing what I'm thinking. So we could either do this full pose and actually stand the Miku in the egg. You know, doing the pose. Oh my gosh, now it's giving that one statue of Venus. Oh, uh, she could be sat in it still like the doll but we could still like raise the arm so she's kind of in pose too so option a is to stand her up inside the egg option b is to sit her down like the dolls and move her arms so they're in the pose what what are people thinking ava says yes she's on youtube dear rain yes small egg i'll shrink it down well, I'm just I'm just engaging what people like. Rin's is cute. Oh, Rin and Lan have their headpieces. Oh, and so does Luca on the side too. That's cool. You know what I found when I first got into Vocaloid on the internet? Somebody that was selling functional earpieces for Vocaloid. I was so jealous. I wanted them. <laughs> they were too expensive. Um, but yeah. It's like I am a mate. I am a humble high school student. I cannot afford these, but they were actual ear pieces that you'd put on like a cosplay, but they were functional with Bluetooth, so you could actually play music with them and listen. They were so cool. I'm kind of thinking the first one holds the pose. Naveen, what I think it was is trick or treat Miku. So would we follow the mix up? Ava McBroden says. I say B, but they're both cute. I agree. I'm personally leaning more towards B. So we've got we've got two preferences for B. Any others? Whilst I search up this figure to treat Miku. Yes. Thank you, Naveen. <laughs> this one, this one. She's so cute. She's so pretty, and like she's got orange highlights in her hair. It's very pretty. It's very cute. 
Gosh, I've not seen this for ages, this one. She had the floaty one. She's got so many lovely figures. I think there's another. I've got nothing else, so I'm going to say B as a go to for that one. I'll delete the body <laughs> because it's a bit. Edit, redo. Because that chin's in a good place, actually. And she just kind of needs. Bring it up here. We've got an egg me. <laughs> oh, look at the little ones on the little knees. They're so cute. Naveen, no problem. And I agree. Would love to see her here. Oh, to put trick or treat into the animation. Would do. I'd be glad to put her in. She's lovely. Okay, I think that chin wants to come up a little bit. And probably to be flattened out a little bit too. These are so cute. I do want to pat the heads because like they look like they squish down, don't they? It looks like the egg comes together if you push down. So I really want to like squish them <laughs> and see if it completes. This is going to be so fun when it's finished. I'm still not sure. I didn't think ahead enough to how I'm going to assemble it. Because I don't know what I'm going to do for music. You'd say, obviously, a Miku song, right? But it's getting the rights to be allowed to publish it. Because YouTube is really strict with that sort of thing. But just putting on some royalty-free random music doesn't feel right you know I'm like oh all this work and then just some random royalty free is a little bit it's i've, I've got to really think about how i'm going to assemble this afterwards into like a complete video i think we'll keep the eye art style on this because i just oh i've done them a bit too low down on that eye actually but yeah, to do all this work, animating, and then just put some music with that doesn't fit, but it's there because it was free and I could use it, is a bit of a letdown for all that prep work, you know? Let's put the effort in, so I need to really think about how I'm going to actually edit this together when it's done. Eat boot. Sorry, I was reading. I was reading De reading Darren's chat message. I was giving Mabel from Gravity Falls. <laughs> if Miku did a collab with IKEA, would it be Miku themed? Uh, meatball themed, or would it be shark themed? I'm asking about sharks because I got the little shark figures today. <laughs> One of the little hands up here. The other little hand down here. So she's still on theme. She's joining in. This is like the Spider-Verse of Mikus. There's all these different actual Mikus and then just really random interjected ones like this. It's like Spider-Verse. Imagine if Miles... Has anyone watched Spider-Verse, actually? Into the Spider-Verse is where um, basically you've got Spider-Man, um, but Miles Morales Spider-Man, and he just goes into a multiverse of Spider-Men because like, loads of other people have worn the Spider-Man mask. And it's just got all the different types of Miku... Of, um, <laughs> um, all the different types of Spider-Man and all the people that have been Spider-Men, including Spider-Women and it's really cool and all i'm seeing here with these like extra battle cat mikus and stuff is the same concept but it's stuff like miku but egg 
pizza. Yay. Okay, how big do we want this egg to be? Oh, it's got like a lines down here. We'll get rid of those. How big is egg going to be? This big or smaller? Astro Blaze, I would just like to inform you that I just used the gift card you gave me for my birthday to buy the Miku DLC for Switch. Yes! Absolutely legendary purchase. Happy birthday. <laughs> Dear Rain, Miku verse. Yes, both of them. Ava, I love the Spider verse. Dear Rain, I have my own Spider Sona. Amazing! I love the spider so spider sona trend. It was like so wholesome. Everyone was like, wait, the whole point is anyone can be Spider-Man, right? I can make a spider soda. It's like, do it. <laughs> Dear Rain, smaller than your hand. If I make her that little, she won't go up on the stream. She'll be too small. I can make the egg smaller. See, things like this I think are great as well, because like, people will go through and be like, what was that, Miku? And this one's way more niche because it's a gacha. This was from a gacha. So it's like, what's with this little weird egg? So you've got to be like a fan fan to be able to find what this is. Same, I think, with the Domino's pizza one. There we go. I think she's about the size of the battle cat. Uh, where's the battle cat? Well, there's Fall Guys. She's smaller than Fall Guys. Uh... Beautiful. About the same size as Battle Cats. Oh, she's a bit too low down, actually. Move her up a bit. Beautiful. 12 out of 10. Itty bitty day room. Jerry Biscuit. Sorry I left so suddenly. I forgot I had an online college lecture. I'm glad you made it to your lecture. Or at least I hope you did. Different slay. <laughs> slay could she lickle? Your curo was 58. 15. Oh my gosh. Ne the next one is the paper craft one. We've got another little one. We're not safe. Oh, wait. There's so many different variants. Which one? Which one are we doing? We did the we wanted the one where it was like sitting down, right? Even smaller, dear rain. Oh my gosh. But yeah, don't worry, biscuits. It's fine. Appreciate you being here and coming back though. That's great. Uh in case you missed Miku's, I can also show you. We got this one. A little egg. I'll get the references up so you can see. We did this one. And I think here was I think around where we last heard from you. Miku's. I've got to try and find a paper craft. Or oh, the right one. I can't remember what it was called. I know it began with like an A. They are cute. The sitting down one, I guess. They're so cute. I've got the nurse outfit ones come up, but I'm trying to find the other ones because the nurse one was not the one that was requested. I've got a cat one. Oh, sorry, I left the references on again. It just like makes it harder to look at, <laughs> that is all. I found a cat version of it. That's got a fish. During 58 minutes gone dank. Yeah. Oh. This one, but like not pixel themed, was the one we were doing. Honestly. So it's a little Miku and you can print it out on paper, cut it out and fold it together and glue it together and then you get a little paper craft Miku. Yeah, one of them is next, but it's I'm struggling to find the one that we were going to do. Oh, 
But yeah. Well, we know which one's less. So next stream would probably cover Papercraft, Tell Your World, Miku Dio, and probably 2022 Snow Miku. Um, because we usually get about four. If we can make it to five, the one after that would be third season autumn Miku. So we're close to Naveen's Naveen's like first recommendations, I think. I'm getting through the list. <laughs> Thank you everybody for joining. I am glad to see if you want to see more, we have a dis I have a Discord link in the description if you want to join my art server. Uh, if you subscribe, you should be able to see more live streams. My set schedule is Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, 8 o'clock till 10 o'clock uh, p.m. in the evening. Um, British time, so I think it's Greenwich? Yeah, UK time. Thank you all for joining in. Thank you for the requests. This has been super fun. I am really enjoying it. I'm glad I've picked it back up. And thank you to repeat viewers as well. Dear Brain, Naveen, um, Quack Anonymous, Sarah, you again. That was great. That was lovely. Astro Blaze as well. And Squeaky Clean. You're also returning viewers. Ava, lovely to meet you. I hope you enjoy the community. You too, Jamie, as well. Rain, I will sit on a box and wait. Ava, I'm excited to tune back in. And Naveen, see you on Tuesday. Thank you very much. We will see you Tuesday and there will be more Mikus. I might even set up the references to make it a bit quicker. Could be cool. Bye, have a good day. Goodbye. Good night.